trust them and know that all their equipment is at the standard it needs to be when they take to the starting blocks. We have one S11 swimmer in this one, and that is Maxim Koval in lane number one. We'll watch out for the tapper there. All these different techniques of tappers. Have you ever done the tapping, Liz? You ever? Uh ventured into to that it's quite pressure isn't it? i had one go at um, a short course winter national championships and i felt way more pressure than actually swimming so uh, i won't be doing that again <laughs> who was that for one of your teammates oh, yeah, it was for Gemma houghton at the time oh, i think right. and you, okay. you never want to be on the end of her wrath do you <laughs> well, let's see what we can get in this one roman makarov goes in the centre lane, the world record holder for the S12 class, of course, a combined event. Look at that rotation in the shoulders for Makarov, that is absolutely superb. He's a four-time Paralympic champion in 100 fly, Makarov. Absolutely dominant in this event, until the event, of course, not going to be an event in Rio, it's combined with the S13s. He was beaten by uh, Ihar Boki who swims in the S13 class last year, but Makarov has dominated this event for 15, 16 years now, and you can see why. Superb butterfly stroke. He's got a great technique, and after these visually impaired athletes really struggle with So to have such a pretty butterfly and functional butterfly really is an impressive achievement. Great finish as well from Makarov, 59.79. So it's a few seconds outside his best. 56 was his best yet. And there is Makarov. 59.79. Well, just checking through the results here. Uh, Zaletsky from Poland getting in there, 103.41. But there's Roman Makarov. Also, another swimmer we used to swim for Belarus. Moved about five, six years ago over to Russia. Competed for Russia ever since 2010, I think. It was the time that they switched over. Makarov and Sergei Punko. They've been stalwarts of the Russian team ever since. There it is, Makarov, 59.79. Zaletsky uh, in second position, and Anti Latika in third, 103.44. I don't know, this is where we are standing in terms of the qualification. We have had, well, three, four, four swimmers under the 103. We've got another three swimmers on the 103 mark, so anything under 103 in this final heat may well progress to the final and we should get a couple at least for that so these swimmers